What's up guys, it's me Jeremy, and welcome to another Breaking the Meta, where I try out strategies that don't fit the current meta and report back on them. This time I'm featuring a comp that used to be played occasionally, but has recently been very unseen, and that is Double 80 Carry. In this composition we played with 180 carry mid, and one standard 80 carry bot with a standard support, jungler, and of course top laner. 80 carry mid used to be the standard meta all the way back from season 1, which is actually where I got this idea from, similar to double bruiser bot, which was played in season 1 as well. This comp was a ton of fun to play, and is actually fairly solid, so without further ado, let's go over the pros and cons. Starting with the pros. The first is that it is a very strong composition for teamfights. Since you have 280 carries, your team has tons of damage in fights and can kill tanks very easily. Your late game is unmatched since you have two champions that will deal massive damage to everyone as opposed to just one in a normal composition. Also, your kiting potential is phenomenal. Your team will be able to kite champions like no other as long as everyone plays the comp correctly by protecting the AD carries. This kiting potential and range from the ADs allows your team to be both very solid at sieging and defending sieges because you can kill towers very fast as well as having very fast wave clear for enemy sieges. Also, AD carry mid is actually kind of decent. Your power on levels 1 to 2 is phenomenal and can catch tons of opponents off guard. I find myself getting a kill very easily in the early game, in literally 50% of the games that I play ADC mid, simply because people completely underestimate the damage that you do early since it is massive compared to other AP mids. Also, most mid laners do not take armor runes at all, so poking them down and trading will be fairly easy, allowing for a very solid laning phase where you can get tons of farm. Also, mid AD carries have some fairly solid matchups as well, especially against any melee AP mids. And lastly, double AD carry is an unconventional composition, so other people will have a hard time playing against it. Now let's move on to the cons. First is that double AD carry will often have no AP damage at all, unless you have an AP top laner. This is not really that big of a deal though, simply because AD carries just do so much raw damage, even through defensive items. So although it does become easier for your opponents to itemize defensively, it is not that big of a deal, but it still deserves a mention of course. Also, a mid AD carry does not generate very much map pressure compared to an AP mid. Ganks from an AD carry are obviously not the best, and they will have a very hard time stopping their lane opponent from roaming as well, so your team has to be willing to deal with ganks from the opposing mid laner without getting any ganks in return, which can actually be a challenge sometimes. In addition, your team will be fairly squishy. AD carries are very squishy champions, and having two will mean that your tanks have to really step it up, and it's also very easy for your AD carries to get cut out and die. So you have to watch out for that and play safe. I'm not going to talk much about the bot lane AD carry because that's just standard stuff, but I will for the mid lane AD carry of course. For the laning phase, it's important that you try to go for a kill at level 2. You should be able to leash fairly fast because of your range and get to lane just slightly before your opponent for a minion or two EXP advantage. From there, poke down your opponent with auto attacks and try to fight them at level 2. If you can't get a fight started, zone them out from the CS to get yourself a solid reliable EXP advantage as well as a 10 CS or more advantage in the lane. I highly recommend taking EXP from either the small wolves or wraiths or something like that so you can hit that level 2 first. A good amount of players will not be ready for the absurd damage that you do in the early levels, and so you should be ready to capitalize on that strength. As the lane progresses and your opponents begin to get more armor through levels, you will start to become fairly weak in an all-in fight in lane. This is where I want to make my recommendation for that when you are playing an AD carry mid, it's almost always a great idea to play an AD carry with an escape, because you become very easy to kill in all-in fights once the lane reaches the later phases, because you don't really itemize defensively like other mid laners might. You should still use your auto attacks to poke though if you can. And you can still get kills if you poke enough or get some ganks from your jungler, but most of all you should really just focus on farming for the late game. During the teamfight phase, the two AD carries must position properly, staying in the back and just always trying to do massive damage. It's often wise for one of you to get static shiv instead of the usual phantom dancer, because only one AD carry will be able to reliably get red buff, and the shiv helps both AD carries kite well due to the slow. Your team needs to protect the two of you and try to prolong and kite out fights for as long as possible because AD carries have massive sustained DPS but have very low burst damage unlike a regular mid lane champion. 
It's important to build your entire team comp around the double 80 carries. You need a jungler and a top laner that can protect your 80 carries, not ones that are just strong at diving your opponents. However, you can really just do this with any junglers or top laners, so the real thing that you have to do is simply just play differently. Instead of having your boozers dive the enemy 80 carries in fights, they should be killing the people that dive your 80 carries, which will likely be the enemy bruisers. After you kill them, it should be fairly easy to chase down your opponent's carries because they will likely not be able to kill your team as fast as you kill the opposing bruisers. Overall, double 80 carry is a very strong comp that I can definitely see being used competitively by innovative teams, and it was really a ton of fun to play and is difficult to counter as well. I would for sure play this comp in ranked games. So that's it for this episode of Breaking in the Meta. I'd love it if you could support me with a like or some feedback in the comments, and I really need some feedback for this sort of series. And if you have any questions, I would absolutely love to see you in the comments too. Please subscribe for more awesome content in the future if you enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.